Man, his knees get warmed up. How are you, pump? <laughs> What's up, guys? So good to see you. We hope you're having a fantastic festive season. It's seriously on point right now with the subject we want to talk about. New Year's resolutions. We don't understand them so much anymore. We all constantly make them on one day I know. of every single year. And why not every single other day? Why is the 31st of December and the 1st of January different to any other day of the year? Because That's they're, what they're, I want to know! Because they're two days and not one day. No, Jonathan! December, they're two separate days! And we go, you know what, tomorrow it's all going to be a different world. Yeah, but you just... No, it's not! Every single day is a new day. Every single day we can test ourselves. Every single day you should push yourself. Every single day you should learn something new. How's that uh, cappuccino working for you? It's just, uh, I'm just passionate. Feel these nips. No, Seriously. get away from me. How the bloody hell do you follow that? Mr. Caffeine here. All right, calm down. Stop doing your busted jumps. All right, moving on from there, we are talking about New Year's resolutions today, and we want you to never have to set one again. Yep. Because they are such a... Um, <laughs> Old fashioned. In, in, I'm going to use this very carefully. In the same way Christmas is often celebrated now just for the sake of its Christmas rather than its actual meaning behind it. Exactly. And the same thing happens with New Year's resolutions, okay? People do it because it's a New Year's resolution, not because. And it's just a trend that yeah, we're happens. Follow. We want you to set yourself something that you can kind of progress each and every day of your life. It doesn't have to be one thing. And the quickest way to never ever have to set another New Year's resolution is to step outside your comfort zone. Yeah. And this is a phrase that is coined, used loads, so much so that people kind of don't really know what it means. They lose the forest from the trees. So what we mean by we're saying step outside your comfort zone is basically imagine you've been working in one job for 10 years. You know it like the back of your hand, you know the people in it, you know your job roles, you get there at 9, you finish at 5, easy. But you've just been offered a new job, it's got more pay. You get more home time to yourself, but you've got a lot more responsibilities and there's new things and new people that you haven't confronted before. Instantly, you're a little bit nervy, but I guarantee in just that first week of your new job, you will learn more than you did in the last couple of months of your old job. That is stepping outside of your comfort zone. Yeah, and we want you to keep progressing like that every single day of your life. The reason that everyone always goes for a really crazy New Year's resolution, they're like, oh, it's because it's so far out of my comfort zone. It's, so, it's, such a, it's such a long reach. We don't want anything that you want to achieve in your life to feel like it's a huge overreach. We want you to get up every day and attack something and go, you know what? I believe that I can do this. Not, I'm going to do it purely because it's a New Year's resolution. And every goal that you want to achieve in your life should be achievable. It shouldn't be something that can only be be achievable purely because you put the power of New Year's resolution behind it. Yeah, if it happens to be a coincidence that you decide to make a change in your life and set your new goals on January 1st, yeah. that's totally cool. But we're just saying more in the role that everyone goes, oh, it's New Year's resolution, shit, what should mine be this year? Yeah, exactly that. Better think of one, better think of one. Uh, ooh, you, don't, you don't need one. All you need to do is constantly be present, appreciate everything and everyone that you have around you, but make sure you keep learning, keep pushing yourself, test the boundaries, push the boundaries, because push the, the tempo, it's, it's, push the tempo. It's the only way you're ever going to get to the highest point that you could potentially get mentally, physically. Mate, the highest point you ever get into is I'm, here, and it's not uh, getting but any higher. It's still pretty high. I'm still six foot one. You're not. You're five foot I'm two. I'm definitely no. I'm not. F Leon's five foot two. Honest. Make sure the point is, guys. Test yourself. Don't be a sheep. Don't be that person that does it purely just because it's the day of the year and because it's a coined phrase. Do things that make you happy, keep pushing yourself, progress, don't allow yourself to get too comfortable. Life sucks that way. What? Oh, it's got me right in the feels. You got me right in the feels. Right there, man. So simply, instead of setting a New Year's resolution, we want you to set more of a lifestyle change. And it's kind of just living life a bit more on its limits. I don't mean jumping off buildings and stuff like that, but just kind of pushing yourself, only small steps, but a little bit more than you do, and you'll find in the long term, you're a lot further along than you are currently. And it'll be a hell of a lot more fulfilling. So just get out there, live, and be bloody awesome like you do every single day of the week with us. We love you all, and we'll see you on the other side. Oh, that's dark. Deep. Tearing the other side. <laughs> you mean the <laughs>